Since 1963, ATAS International has been a leading manufacturer of metal wall and roof systems. In this video, we will cover basic installation details pertaining to our Winlock series of profiles being applied over a solid substrate in a horizontal application. Outside corner post is a one-piece trim that has pockets on both sides to accept the panel. These pockets have a painted finish on the inside to match the exterior of the corner post. The trim should be installed perpendicular to the base trim. The corner post should be closed off at the bottom of the installation. This can be done by folding over the cap on the corner post. Measure one inch up the fastening leg of the corner post and remove it using aviation snips. The pockets where the panel is placed should also be removed so that only the one inch face of the corner post remains at the bottom. Cut one inch into the face of the corner post at the 90 degree fold. Then using hand seamers fold over the two sides at the bottom of the corner post. Please note that the base trim will cover most of the bottom of the trim and this is being done to close off the remaining areas. After the folds have been completed, secure the two folded pieces together with a pop ribbon. The corner post is checked for levelness on both sides of the wall and shims are used to create a level installation. It is installed on the top of the base flashing with the bottom folded to create a clean appearance. The corner post allows for the ability to overcome some issues that arise from building construction tolerances. The corner post can be positioned to compensate for irregularities in the substrate at the corner location. Trims should be fastened two foot on center with proper fasteners. Proper shimming is required to ensure that panels can be placed into the pocket of the corner post trim without causing stress on the panel due to uneven corner post pocket.
As you can see in the video, the corner post was installed based on the 3-4-5 triangle that was done after the base trim was installed. In multi-story application, corner posts should be notched and fitted to allow for expansion and contraction. Trim should be allowed to work independently of each other and not rivet it together. When installing more than one corner post, an overlap is required. This is accomplished by removing the fastening and pocket portion of the corner post. Measure four inches up from the top of the post and mark a line on the fastening side of the post. Then using aviation steps, remove the metal so only the face remains on the top four inches of the post. Do the same procedure on the next post, but only remove one inch of the fastening leg. These are the same steps as preparing the bottom of the corner post to be closed off at the bottom of the wall, except you will not be folding the bottom over. The two corner posts can now be lapped for a clean installation. Do not pop rivet the two corner posts together. They should move independently of each other. ATAS can offer pre-notch corner flashings to accelerate the installation process. For more installation details, please visit www.ataz.com.